many people here against GM. On our farm we've been developing a permaculture for about three decades. Uh, we rotationally graze uh, many animals through orchards, gardens and paddocks. We made a choice not to buy GM canola seed to plant on our, our farm. Uh, in this way we don't need herbicides, uh, fertilisers or pesticides. Because of this we're actually being identified by Monsanto as their greatest enemy. until found otherwise by independent science. In the Vietnam War, Agent Orange was described as safe to our soldiers. like David against Goliath. His fight is a landmark case in Australia and beyond. Okay. It is the first time in the world a non-GM farmer has said no, we will not accept contamination. This is fantastic. And people like Steve Marsh get put on the front line, not because of choice, but because he decided not to turn away. He wasn't, he didn't choose the situation, but unlike what some other people might have done, he's actually chosen to stand up, put himself on the line instead of folding. This case will set international precedence and will determine his right to farm organically and our rights as consumers to choose GM-free organic foods. He needs our support. Yeah, we're proving that you can grow food without their chemicals. And we're not alone. So there's a thousand of us up here at State Parliament House. There are hundreds of thousands of people right around the world today. We got to all